The hottest spot in the casino is always the slot machine pit. And the king of one-armed bandits is Lucky Seven, a slot machine that randomly displays numbers in a bank of three or more spinning windows. Lucky Seven is not a good way to make a living, but it's a great way to challenge Lady Luck. If one or more sevens appear in the spinner windows, bingo, you've hit the jackpot. To create a computer version of the Lucky Seven slot machine, you need to think carefully about the basic features of the Lucky Seven game. The best way to chart the mission of your program is to create an algorithm, an ordered list of steps that your program should follow. The Lucky Seven program should complete four tasks. First, it should display a welcoming user interface with control buttons, spinner windows, and a mechanism for announcing a win. Second, it should have the ability to pick three random numbers and display them in the spinner windows when the user clicks spin. Third, Lucky Seven should announce a jackpot by displaying a stack of casino coins and beeping when a seven appears. Finally, Lucky Seven should stop when the user clicks the end button. This basic algorithm translates into three fundamental programming steps in Visual Basic. Creating the user interface, setting the properties, and writing the code. To build the user interface, I'll create seven objects on a form with tools in the Visual Basic toolbox. To set the properties, I'll customize the objects with 10 property settings. Finally, I'll use the code window to write program code for the two control buttons on the form, spin and end. Roughing out these basic planning steps is always a good way to start the software development process. With a solid algorithm in place, you're ready to get started.